And hello, welcome. Just want to run through the installation of the OPC UA client GUI, uh, which I kind of demonstrated. This is an important prerequisite. So on Windows, it's uh, quite simple. I mean, you, you cannot quite do it the same way as, as Linux, where you install PyQt5 and everything. But uh, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Okay, so go to winpython.github.io, as they have uh, talked about. And over here, you have WinPython 3.8, WinPython 3.10, as of now, now it's September 2022. What I do is I go to SourceForge. When I open SourceForge, this is what I get. Okay. Okay, let me open in a new tab. Open in a new tab. Now close all these other tabs. Okay. So, yeah. You go to download the latest version. Make sure you download the one with the biggest file because that's with all that comes with all the extensions including PyQt5 and everything. So just download this and well that's just what you need to do. Now I've already downloaded it, so I will not uh, exactly download it again. See it's about one gigabyte. So you see I already have WinPython over here. So once you have WinPython, okay, I'm not gonna download it of course. But once you have WinPython, all you need to do is to extract it. Okay, let me close this. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, let me close this. Hello. Okay. This thing doesn't seem to be working so well. But, okay, no matter. Um, go to Documents. Oh, Downloads. I think I put it in Downloads. No. Documents. Yeah. Standby. Let me check where I installed it. Oh, yeah. I put it in a Documents file under my D drive. So, that's where it is. WinPython 3.0. Uh, 3. WinPython 64. 3.10.5.0 Okay, so they'll tell you, okay, when I open this, I need to extract it to an archive. So I've already extracted this. This will actually take a while. And where I extracted it, it is done. It will be extracted into this thing called WinPy31050. So that's the version number. Open it up. <clears throat> and you'll have a few options. You can use Command Prompt, Control Panel, Interpreter, PowerShell, Prompt, or Terminal, Windows Terminal. So I'll just open a PowerShell Prompt. Okay, and this is a uh, PowerShell. Let me clear this up. It will be this color, or at least on this computer. What are we looking for over here? Well, uh, over here we already have the right Python environment. Okay, so once we have the right Python environment, when uh, we execute this uh, PowerShell prompt, this is like a localized Python environment with all the PyQTs and everything, all the uh, necessary dependencies installed. All you need to do is pip install OPC UA uh, client. Okay, so for me, I already installed it, so um, it's already uh, pretty much finished. It has all the necessary dependencies, uh, and all I need to do is just run it. OPC UA client. Okay, so this is the OPC UA client. Now I have a server on the other side uh, running uh, using the Rust code and Python code. So I'll just click connect here to the correct endpoint op OPC t uh, TCP, put your IP address and port number, make sure it matches that of the server and just click connect. So when it connects successfully over here, it will say, uh, uh, over here it will have all of these objects and here I have a ob under my pipe object, okay. Under object, pipe object, I have a Reynolds number which I can switch around and it will kind of change uh it will kind of change the the, the value. So uh of yeah, it will change the value of the Reynolds number. So yeah, here's my Reynolds number. Uh suddenly now it's 1900. I can update it every maybe uh one second. Okay, update it every one second. So you see, uh, 
what I did is just add this add Reynolds number to graph and now this Reynolds number is on the graph and I can change it to 1700 okay and you'll become 1700 here so it's a very nice I mean it's a nice uh, OPC UA client you don't need to really pay anything for it that's the best part you should be able to uh, do things do lots of stuff with it so this is a two two thousand two thousand uh, Reynolds number two thousand uh, and of course on the server side I'm actually uh, getting the uh, server to uh, yeah I'm getting the server to calculate some friction factor from this and hopefully one can calculate some uh, kind of pressure loss sooner or later from it okay so this is all I have this is how you do it on Windows uh, um, and then also there is a OPC UA simulation server just for your like information here there is a simulation server which you can connect to okay, let's see whether it is there okay because this this is like by default inside your inside here okay doesn't seem to be working very well okay doesn't seem to be working very well so uh yeah it looks like you have to just like make real servers so there are a few ip addresses by default yes yeah, this simulation server there's opc tcp local host 4840 so that's not a problem you can you can use this address space so i to close i can just close uh i'll just press enter a few times but uh basically uh i uh once once you finish this yeah you kind of have to just exit the PowerShell like that. For some reason, it's not responding to me. You know, the Control C prompts, Control D, or Control Z, uh, all these, all these things. This thing is just not like not really responsive now. But all in all, this uh, this thing actually works. So that's not a problem. That's a good thing. So let me close this, and I just call it a day.